The uh, success of the banking industry in Malta can be attributed to a number of factors. I would probably f uh, go back first 20 years uh, when a suite of financial services laws and regulations were promulgated together with a well thought out fiscal legislation which provided um, the uh, infrastructure as well as um, the incentive for the industry to flourish. At the time, the retail banks in Malta were also being privatised and this provided the opportunity for um, the uh, general public to, to participate in the success and development of the, of the island. I would say also um, a major factor which, which facilitated the establishment and the operation of banks in Malta was the, the availability of very good service providers. And I would start with, with, with referring to the regulator as being, although, although very rigorous, but uh, a flexible and approachable uh, regulator. And I would also say the excellent uh, availability of uh, international uh, firms in Malta, law firms and professional firms as well as the availability of very hard-working labour force, which facilitated the establishment and operation of subsidiaries, banking subsidiaries in Malta. Also, a very important event uh, is the fact that the uh, banking industry in Malta went through the, the, the worst financial crisis um, over the last three years um, without any casualties. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the work ethic and the prudent manner in which the banking industry performed made it possible for uh, uh, the minimum love losses being, being recorded. I believe that the banks um, face a significant challenge going forward in view of the uh, increased uh, capital requirements uh, that, will, that, will, that they will be faced with in the coming years. And the challenge is to uh, balance the risk and returns uh, that will ensure the going concern of the industry. The Fib Bank is a relatively small bank with headquarters in Malta. So it is actually a bit unique in the sense that most of the banks who are here are not really headquartered in Malta or only very few. We also are a little bit different that we do a lot of international business out of Malta. I was obviously not involved when the founders decided to come to Malta, but I guess the reasons were threefold. Uh, first of all, it, Malta is English spoken, so the English language is very helpful in international business to facilitate uh, your contacts with international clients. The tax system is favourable, it still is, and it was probably more when we first came. And I think also the staff is uh, extremely uh, highly educated and, and very committed to uh, the business. We also find this, the situation of Malta very interesting for trade. It is the bridge between Africa and Europe, and it has quite a large port, so trade has always been an important activity for the country. I think the financial sector and inclusive banking has been growing the fastest um, in Malta for many years now. And, and I find it very good because tourism, of course, is the biggest income stream given the nice weather and everything. Um, but uh, we, you need a second leg and the financial sector has become very much the second leg for the economy. And I think that the government has done a lot to, to really focus efforts on the financial sector and we have benefited. And I have been here now for, for 10 years and I must say I've really enjoyed uh, living here and, and growing the bank. Um, the founders were absolutely right with the decision. I think it was a perfect a location for a bank for trade finance. Good staff, good quality, nice environments, good regulations. So we really believe we have um, made a good uh, choice to be in Malta. FCM Bank opened in Malta in June of this year, 2012. Um, the project was initiated about a year before when we started the preparations for the setting up and launching of FCM Bank. 
Our operations focus primarily today on the saving and investment areas, but it's our intention to move into the lending sector of the business as well in the coming year. We are owned by a company called Fortalist Capital Management, which is a UK fund. Um, the fund set up here in Malta because it believed that Malta has the right business climate to for, for in the banking world. Malta has been very successful in uh, maintaining its um, a, a sound financial system and the investors felt that Malta was the right place for them to do that. Obviously, this is also helped by the favourable tax and f um, regulatory framework existing in the island. The experience has been very positive. Um, as I said, the relationship with the, uh, our regulators is a very positive relationship and we're also reassured by the business climate in Malta. The um, the customer base is very responsive to our um, products and we have found that the business is going steadily forward.